you've never been to Amish country in Ohio, it is definitely, it should be on your bucket list. This is just beautiful country here in Ohio. Especially if you love primitives. It's like time sort of stood still here. Although, as we were driving down to this vintage festival that we're going to be bringing you all to, we passed a young man driving an Amish buggy while looking at his cell phone. If that wasn't just a mixture of time, that was pretty interesting. See the buggy. Just beautiful country here. God's country, we like to refer to it as. We are at the Vintage Fair in, oh gosh, look how cute that jacket is. Jim, tell me again, it's not Apple Creek, oh, wait, Walnut Creek. I don't know why I have a mental block about that. This little outfit here is just precious. They've got the vintage clothing. Jim and I already picked up a beautiful um, accessory for his desk that we're going to use for the printer. Beautiful. It looks like a double children's desk Yeah, for his office that has a um, perfect place for the paper and Beautiful breadboard end top. Just gorgeous. What's up to you? No pressure. Just all kinds of different things. Some of the handwork of the oh, charcuterie boards and pieces here were just incredible. Oh my goodness, and there's the, the man selling these beautiful spoons. We'll go over there in a minute. There's a lot of the farmhouse painted style furniture here also. Some jewelry. <laughs> oh yeah, it's our second time around. You know you gotta go through once and then come back again. The sun came out, didn't it? They do. Beautiful cutting boards here, too. We'll have to take a look there. Hand board, sorry. Crackling wooden wicks. Look at these gorgeous birdhouses. Look at this old buggy down here. Mm-hmm. See that buggy? Isn't mm -hmm. that cute? They are nice. They're gorgeous. Put them on a post or like on that um, stump that we've got out there. A bunch of them are already sold. I love the little birds on the springs. We were just talking to the, the owner and the artists who do these, and they said they have a, I need a stand right in front of their in. house. I want something that lasts. So yeah. if you're interested. It's really cute. It's really nicely done. It's gorgeous hand-carved spoons and... Just such a neat combination of things. Little hanging plants in the macrame. Oh, look how cute that is. The fountain using all the different. Look at using all the different bowls and things, and they turn it into a little fountain. All the glass. 
the glass pieces. Look at this little wind chime. Well, you knew it wasn't going to rain. So clever. And another one of these. Look at that. The whole thing is $40. <laughs> Love the old farm bell. Little goat cart. Such a neat mixture of things. Oh, look at the columns. Interesting pie safe. <laughs> Gotta look close, you just never know which you might find. Some pretty yellowware. Yellowware bowls. They're cute, they don't have a price on those. In the last several years, the yellowware prices have really gone down. I don't, I don't quite know why. Yeah. <laughs> old bottles. There's a candle tin. Looks like the handle's not there. I'm so tickled. We've already found such a wonderful find. I'll make sure to show you here at the end what we picked up. It's like a resin. shadow keeps going across here. Now there's a wood, nice wooden bowl, but they've put a lacquer over it. It does have a crack, and it's out of round. It was an old one, but with that finish on it, it's just not quite that early. Prim look with that shine on it. Like a fun prim booth here. Love those wagon wheels. Yeah, I told them they, they come up. I told Aaron I wasn't going to get flowers like the flower bags. I didn't want to get them, and I got that. Can you buy this last time? And then, but this will go right there on the other side of my. Ah, that's adorable. Early mantle. Some nice, nice crocs. What is that back in there? It's an interesting shape. So this says, let's see, handcrafted by William E. Smith, 1960, used by Jeffrey Adams, 1960, Randall Scott. It must be a cradle. It is a cradle couldn't figure out from the other side and standing up what that was but it's an old crib or cradle neat uh, barn vent this would be great to hang towels or something somewhere if you had a nice sturdy wall and some. just adorable very clever Sold too. 
Really neat. Some more candles and it's such a pleasant, pleasant place for a sale. It's quiet. People are just so really sweet. Really a fun, fun day. Interesting things in this one. Yeah, here's a really cute flower stand. You can rent her with the for weddings. The Bells of Ireland. Good job. I'm impressed. Some bupleurum there in the back. Peonies. Oh, these are blowing open. They were closed more when we got here. Foxglove. These are just gorgeous. Charcuterie boards. Trays. Really, really nice. Beautiful pieces. <laughs> Some of my dad had Cleveland Company advertising. Oh, cool. The last 130. It'd be interesting to see what's there now. Yeah, exactly. There's one that's American, what's that? American Cyanide, Rockefeller <laughs> Plaza, New York. Explosives. Harness dressing. Very neat. Oh, there's more over here. Maybe paper shell shots. Very cool. Cool empty boxes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Waterproof. Here's our find from that uh, vintage sale from Walnut Creek. We were sitting down enjoying one of the world famous Amish donuts, and I'm sure this is echoing, I apologize for that. We don't have any of the soft materials in here yet. And this looks like one of those vintage double desks uh, yeah, maybe high school age desk, but it has that neat breadboard end. It was beautifully finished, and it's just perfect here for my husband's office. So if you guys could help me out, a very, very uh, old friend of mine from uh, when I was working, gosh, oh, before kids, my old friend Mark, aka fuzzy sent me the link about going to this sale and he is at home recovering from hip replacement surgery so if you would send a big shout out get well soon hello anything like that that would be just awesome I would really appreciate it it was an awesome find and I am just thrilled uh, with how this looks here in the office. So we have this also new to us uh, David T. Smith desk here and then uh, one of the file cabinets from one of the um, cabinet makers also that make kind of that vintage uh, early looking furniture. So it's got an early uh, paint type finish on it too. So. We've got a big curly maple, tiger maple, um, armoire that I've had since, gosh, 1994, I think. That's probably going to end up going on that wall right there. 
And that access panel, I saw the neatest thing at an antique shop recently. They had a frame that they used to hold vintage uh, golf clubs. And my husband had found, again, one of these freak, one of the one, one in a million type things, some really unique, just absolutely pristine persimmon golf clubs. And we're gonna hang those um, up and down using that access panel as a frame for those golf clubs. Now there were a couple other things that I did pick up at this uh, vintage sale in Walnut Creek. And so let's go down to the porch and I'll show those to you. And those are going to be available at the outdoor sale at Seville Antiques on June 23rd. If they don't sell on the 23rd, you will find them inside my shop on June 24th. I'm only going to be there outside again on the 23rd. We have a family event on the 24th, so I can't be there outside on both days. It is so worth coming out for that sale. All right, so let's go down to the porch and I'll show you the uh, other two finds that we picked up today at that awesome uh, vintage sale. And again, great big shout out to Mark for sending me the link. Okay, Prim friends, I wanted to get on here real quick. I had not yet uh, recorded the video part of this unusual Prim piece here that I found today at that Walnut Creek uh, vintage fair. Thank you, thank you, huge thank you to Mark to um, tag me in that uh, special page so that I knew that that was going on today. It was wonderful, amazing Amish donuts and some really neat things. and Just a beautiful setting, lovely drive down there. So um, if you are in the area or if you have cause to be in the area, our Ohio Amish country is definitely a sight to behold. But this piece, um, the vendor who sold it said she knew nothing about it, but she bought it in Worcester, Ohio. And I'm sorry that it's as dark right now as it is, but you can see there's these holes up and down in this tall part. And the lower one is a fixed piece. So I am, I am fairly certain that this would have been for holding some sort of um, yarn or twine or something like that and then depending upon where this was placed up and down on this peg would have determined how large or how small the um, the hank or the roll or the piece chunk of that material would have been but it's just awesome it has the square nails in this part right here um, all pegged and I think this is what makes primitives um, sometimes people will say what's the difference between a primitive and an antique and you know you can have some antique pieces that were machine made they're antiques but I wouldn't necessarily call them primitives because they're made on a machine they're made one after another sort of die cut one one after another after another but this much more looks to me like a piece that was made by hand to serve a function and that is what gives it that really uh, that primitive look that primitive vibe so the other piece that I did get was um, this sweet little uh, little punch tin lantern not particularly old maybe vintage but anyway both of these pieces will also be available at the sidewalk sale on June 23rd the sale is going on the 23rd and the 24th and any of the items that I do not sell will be going inside my booth so if you aren't able to go on that Friday June 23rd to Seville Antiques um, you know make sure that you do go then on that Saturday the other vendors will be there on both of those days Margie will also have her um, I want to say it's a tent sale at her location at uh, Gleaner, the Gleaner in Ashland, Ohio. So just lots of fun, lots of really wonderful things to see. And it's just a great time. So the shop is also open, so you'll not only get to see all of these amazing things outside, but also 
meet a lot of your favorite dealers and then go on inside the shop and shop as well. So I hope that we will see you. I'm going to continue to do these videos between now and then as well. More from Seville Antiques. So keep watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below. Um, I do my best to get back to the comments when I'm able. Right now, one of my biggest focuses is on uh, planting for our uh, flower garden, for our flower farm, actually. The weather has just been so hot and so dry that it was not a good idea to be putting in seedlings. But right now, these that's what happens when your seedlings set in a tray for as long as these have. Our ageratum look wonderful. I have planted 900, probably almost 2,000 little seedlings in the last day and a half. So this is a lot of where my focus is right now. Take care, everybody. Hope to see you on the 23rd of June.